guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi my name is Melly. thank you so much for clicking on my video today we're gonna be doing my favorite thing ever which is decluttering my closet cleaning out my closet whatever you want to call it yes I have been cleaning out my closet this year like crazy but it's just because I keep getting tons of new clothes and I like don't have any space in my closet and I know that most of the clothes that are in here that are from like past seasons I'm not going to wear anymore so before we get started if you are not following me on Instagram I definitely recommend you go follow me so you can keep up with me behind the scenes and everything try to post cute pictures you know okay let's get started I don't really know where to get started okay so if you guys can see up there I kind of want to get rid of the sweatshirts and like hoodies and everything that's up there and then kind of like put maybe my heavier sweaters and then find a different place for those because also I don't have this in my closet but as you guys can see here I mostly have like only like small tank tops but all my t-shirts I put it away I'll show you guys so here are some drawers and in here I keep all my skirts and like a bunch of other like heavier sweatshirts and stuff like that and then in here I keep all my t-shirts um so I don't know I think I'm gonna probably put away all my sweatshirts in here and then maybe put out my t-shirts and then try to see how I can like make more room in my closet if that me makes any sense I'm just going to bring down these are all my sweatshirts that I have like from the winter obviously and I also have some sweatpants in here um, and then here I have like all my workout attire which I think I'm also gonna put in one of those drawers I literally have tons of them so if you guys cannot see up there I have here I will show you guys what I have up here okay Surprise, surprise, I have some yarn. You guys know, um, I have a little surprise for you guys. Um, I already said it on my Instagram, but if you're not following me, you probably don't know yet. I'm opening up my own little crochet shop. I'm so excited. Many of you guys are telling me to open one. I should definitely open one. And I think it's gonna be so cool to make something for you guys to wear and then like tag me on Instagram and that I just think that's so cool so Yeah, I'm gonna be opening my own little crochet shop on May 7th. So stay tuned. I'm so excited I'm so nervous. This is the first time doing something like this. I've never done anything like this before so This is one of the little bags that I'm gonna be selling on there. This is like a little checkered bag it's really cute you know she is so cute this is like my little raspberry lemonade bag that's what i call it i like i have to finish don't mind the loose threads i like didn't finish threading them because i was lazy but yeah if i make these for you guys obviously don't know i'm gonna have the threads but yeah anyway i'm really really excited they're handmade by me obviously and these take me at least four hours to make because I'm not the fastest at crocheting I also have this one this is like a mini version of this one this is like more square and this is more like you know kind of like a little bag like a canvas bag obviously because it's yarn it like kind of like sags a little bit but this one doesn't um so I don't know like I'm probably gonna have both of them this one's more it's more like a mini version oh I'm so excited literally like you guys have no idea this is my dream come true especially because I love arts and crafts and I always wanted to find something that I can sell for you guys to just have and like see you guys having it and I don't know maybe I'm gonna sell one of these hats that I made um there's like little crochet hats you guys have seen these everywhere so probably gonna be selling those as well and definitely more bags I'm not gonna only be selling bags I'm also gonna be selling different things this is another bag that I'm making though it's also checkered it's in this like green and white color and then I'm also making little bralette halter tops so this is one of them I'm not finished with it yet but this is what like the bralette is looking like and 
I'm like literally so excited. I don't know. I, I don't know if anyone's gonna buy it or anything, but I'm just so excited to make it for you guys and just show you everything that I've been making. So yeah. Anyway, back to the video. So yeah, this is like all the yarn. I keep like all my yarn up here because I don't know where else to put it. But yeah, this is all my yarn. These are all my sweaters. Again, I'm gonna be putting them over here. I have more yarn. This is more yarn. I told you guys I'm obsessed with yarn, so I literally have tons of yarn. Okay, so now the top is like completely empty, as you guys can probably see, it's completely empty. But I'm gonna be like taking some of these jeans and then like putting them up here, because those are more like my winter jeans. I don't think I'm gonna wear all these jeans in the summer. So I just wanna make more space for my shirts. Um, Okay, so now I have like my long sleeve here. I think I'm gonna put some away because obviously I know I'm not gonna wear it in the summer. Like this one, beautiful top, but it's more for the winter, you know? It was more for the winter, so. I'm also gonna be putting this dress away because I feel like it's more like of a fall dress. And also this dress. I mean, it could be like a springy dress, but I feel like it's just, like I'm not a big fan of it anymore. I, I, I didn't even wear it, so. I'm just gonna fold it and put it on the top. If I ever wanna wear it, I'll just grab it from the top. This dress, I'm also not a big fan of anymore. I just feel like it's not my style anymore. This dress I've had for like three years now, and I, I don't think I ever wore it out once. I think I wore it once inside the house for like an event I was having and then like that's it That's literally it and plus it's really really short So it's probably why I never wore it out and I don't think it fits me anymore, but I'm just gonna like put it on the top <laughs> Okay guys, so what I just did was I hung up all my dresses right here I literally don't have many dresses, but I'm getting some soon, so. Then, oh, don't mind this, this is my robe. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, some dresses that I got, and these are all my pants that I think I'm gonna be wearing in the summer, all my jeans. And then back here are just some long sleeve t-shirts. These are more like kind of flowy, so I might be able to wear them when it gets a little chilly on a summer night. But now I'm just hanging up all my t-shirts and I'm going to be putting them where my jeans were before. Okay, I also want to address something because every time I do one of these, y'all always come for me in the comment section. Y'all say like, why does she hang her hangers like that? Should be like the opposite way. Like, instead of hanging them like that, I should hang them like this. And like, okay, like I, I know Trust me, I know that hangers are supposed to go that way because I work retail, so I always hang them like the opposite way. But for me, I just feel weird. Like, that's just how I always felt comfortable hanging them in my closet. And even my sister does it. Like, we both do it. I don't know. It's just like, it's just how we've been doing it since we were little. So now it feels kind of awkward, like hanging it the other way, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I don't know. But yes, I'm aware that I'm hanging them the wrong way. I work retail, so I would know, trust me, but it's just the way I like it, so. It's personal preference here, people. <laughs> here are all my t-shirts hung, and now I'm gonna color coordinate them, and I'm also gonna be separating them from tank tops to t-shirts so that it's easier for me. Pretty much what I do is I start off with tank tops because it's easier for me. So these are all my white tank tops. I know, I don't have many, but I hang them right here. I just do white. I start out with white. I'm not really sure why I start out with white, so don't question me. Um, and then from white, I go to like a nude color. I have like these, these are kind of like nude and then like brown. This one's kind of falling off the hanger. I'm telling you guys, I color coordinate really weirdly, but then I do like pinks and purples and greens like that and then last but not least I do black I mean I'm probably gonna put the black like 
Yeah, I'm just gonna put it here, it's whatever. I have such a weird way of color coordinating, color coordinating them, but I don't have like all the rainbow colors. So I just, whatever. And then I put all my sweater vests right there. And then I'm gonna put my regular regular shirts like that. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so let me show you guys in this drawer what I put. So here I put all my sweaters, like all my winter sweaters. Here are just some random tank tops. And then here are all my workout clothes. And then in the bottom one where my t-shirts used to be, I put all of my hoodies. I know they're kind of squished because there's a lot. I put all my sweatshirts and my sweatpants in here, so yeah. And now this is my closet. As you guys can see up there, I keep all my yarn. And then back there, I keep like all my random clothes. My skirts are here. Those are my bucket hats. Um, these are some sweaters, some random like dresses or shirts that are like a little bit too warm for the summer. Here are pants that I don't, I'm not probably not gonna wear during the summer. And then here are just like random like cardigans and leggings and stuff. And over here are all my tank tops and then my t-shirts. And then here are just my purses you guys saw before. I was debating whether or not to hang this, but I think I might as well. If you guys don't remember, this is my Pinterest dress that I tried sewing and it was a fail because I just feel like it's a little bit like, like too showy in the boobs area. Like it's like too showy. And this took me literally like a whole entire week to sew, maybe even longer, like two weeks maybe. Yeah, this is my dress and it came out a little lopsided because this is my first time freaking crocheting a dress so don't judge the dress but I think I'm gonna hang it there you go okay that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed let me know down below what your thoughts are how your day's going just talk to me in the comment section below let me know if you're excited for my crochet shop because I'm so excited I cannot wait for you guys to see everything don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button so you can keep seeing more of my videos. And don't forget to go follow me on Instagram. I love you guys so much. God bless you. God loves you. Show love. Bye. Come on, so love